Round number eight coming to its conclusion. Same results. Clarence Bones Adams in control of Mike Juarez in the scheduled 12 rounder on the beach. Oh, break, break. B2. Subscribe. Not a bad package there, Al. Very nice. I know you're a big soccer fan. I will. I know who Diego Maradona is. How's that? Is that good <laughs> enough? Alex Lelos? I can name at least five soccer players. Give me half a chance. Tab Ramos? There you go. <laughs> Take a look at the numbers in round eight as we begin round number nine of the scheduled 12 rounder. And again, all Clarence Adams. He's been, a, he's been a model of consistency. And one of the things that has changed is the number of punches Juarez is throwing. It's gone down dramatically in the last three or four rounds and he can ill afford that now here's where a fighter like bones adams has choices to make when he's in the eighth ninth tenth eleventh round of a of a match like this does he go after mike juarez and try and raise his stock in terms of marketability or does he just keep winning and say, you know, doesn't matter. If I put five, six, seven wins together, I'm going to get my title shot. Um, me, personally, if I'm in his corner, I say go after the guy. Because you'll you'll boost the money you'll make. You'll make yourself, uh, you'll take yourself out of the category of uh, quote-unquote boxer, and it could help you. Well, he's never recorded a knockout past the sixth round, so maybe he realizes that's not in his arsenal. But here's the other question. If you're a Clarence Bones Adams and you're an accomplished boxer as he is and someone who's been around, why suddenly start showing knockout power? Maybe one of the top guys will not want to fight you because they fear that you bring some power. Well, but they'll know, yeah, <laughs> but... Hate to play skip. No, that's true. What you say is, is an accurate point, but of course, you're not just... It's not just the boxer, it's the boxing. These days, it's television networks, it's all the people that want to pay you money, so... Uh, and whether he could even do it remains to be seen. But he, I think Bones Adams could be a better power puncher if he would stand there on occasion and really get leverage in his punches, which he doesn't do very often. <laughs> I have to laugh. It's funny, boxing is the only sport where you could have that discussion. If you were coaching a basketball team and they deliberately only won by 14 points, people would be outraged. But in boxing... Could just go for decisions so you don't show too much well you always hear that in football though you know that's the teams are meeting and they couldn't meet in the playoffs don't so don't want to show too much they keep Get some that plays better draft a... pick or whatever oh don't say that <laughs> well hey you know you, you were safe for a while there <laughs> you were okay Joking. good left good left <laughs> <Bones Adams. laughs> this is why the nfl isn't calling us to do games apparently Final 10 seconds of round number nine. It's about schedule for 12. Clarence Adams and Mike Juarez on the deuce. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. Bob Papa along with Al Bernstein. We begin round number 10 of this schedule 12 round bout between Mike Juarez and Clarence Bones Adams. In a fight controlled by Adams. We'll take a look at the numbers through nine rounds. A graphic illustration of how Adams has dominated this fight pretty much at a two to one ratio in terms of punches landed. And our scorecard, I would assume, reflect, reflects that. Yeah, I have uh, Adams winning literally every round. I have an 89 82. I gave Juarez round two. on aggression, not accuracy. Hey, here's the right, right, right. All right, break. Step back, step back, step back. I think Adams is content to just ride this out and get a 12-round win. Yeah, he, is, he has things well in hand, and uh, he's in kind of a prevent defense mode to an extent. Still punching, but not not looking to go after Mike Juarez. And, uh, you know, he's not a knockout puncher, but this is one of those bouts where I think something could have been there for him had he decided to really turn it on. I think there were moments where he impressed Juarez with his power. So there's an example. Instead of staying there and maybe trying to throw through more power punches, Adams moves away, and that, he's conditioned to do that, or programmed, if you will. Which is not a bad program to follow. No, it works for him and gets him wins. He is 33-3-3, three, three, and those three losses all came 
in consecutive fights back in 1993, losing to Orlando Canizales, all by knockout. Yeah, although the Toledo fight was uh, definitely a dislocated shoulder. But, and he fought tough guys right in a the row there, too. A lot of body work in this fight by Adams. He has really been committed there. He, from way out, he rips a left hook. If you don't have quick hands, you'd never land that punch from so far off. And that's a slip, as you hear the referee say, as Juarez goes down. Some swelling around the right eye of Juarez. That's courtesy of those left hooks that Adams has landed. Adams landing some very nice power punches. And in this round, he has set down on his punches better. Final 10 seconds of round 10. Two more rounds to go in this scheduled 12-rounder between Clarence Bones Adams and Mike Juarez from the Ohio State Fair. Right, the penalty in of round 10. Welcome back to the Celeste Center on the grounds of the Ohio State Fair. Bob Hoppe along with Al Bernstein. Round 11 underway. Clarence Adams and... Mike Juarez for the IBA America's featherweight title. No knockdowns in this bout. Take a look at some numbers from round number 10 and a bout controlled by Adams. Adams did even better in that round. And now here's Juarez finally landing a couple of pretty good right hands. But not only has Adams' accuracy stayed consistent, but his number of punches he's thrown in each round has gone up as this fight has continued. Juarez trying to press Adams, but really has not been able to catch him. What can a Mike Juarez do with such a late juncture here, Al, to try to turn this into a brawl for a round and a half? The only thing he can do is what they've been telling him in his corner, try and get closer to land the straight right, and there he did it. He did it earlier in this round as well, but it's not having much of an impact on, on Adams. He's trying to throw a lot of power punches, and he's mixing in more left hooks is uh, Juarez. Oh, slip, slip. Third time Juarez has slipped. Balance of Adam is very good, always in position. This the 40th professional bout of Clarence Adams' career. He is just 23 years of age. Turned pro at the age of 15. Boxing, your hands are free. Watch your head. Come on, your hands are free. Downstairs, he has been so consistent with his body attack. Keep the heads in there now. Keep the heads still hands moving. Box your hands are free. Oh, right. He's in a division, Bones Adams, where the uh, the big biscuit is Prince Nassim Hamed. Everybody wants to fight with him. Right now, Bones Adams is having his way with Mike Juarez, but I'm sure Adams would be looking at him or Wilfred Vasquez, who has a WBA title. Lucito Espinosa with the WBC. Nassim has the IBF and the WBO title. Those are the guys he's shooting for, and he needs four or five solid wins to get himself back in position for that. That's a very talented division. Some excellent fighters down there. Freddie Norwood, a young man that we have seen here on, uh, on ESPN, who, uh, a solid left-hander. They call him Little Hagler, and he does re resemble Marvin Hagler. The and there's the end of round number 11. Mike Juarez and Bones Adams to their corners. Let's check in with the Juarez camp. You shot at that bell? All right, you got, you got three minutes. Uh, uh, you go out there with balls and let everything go. Let them go from your chin. I don't want you to bob. I want you to go out there and let your hands go. Go after his ass. Three minutes. Go after him. Want you to touch gloves, come out, step back. Hey, I'm doing a great job. Great job. Give him a cool down. 
Don't forget our main event still to come. Hey, look, Rocky Gannon and Jose Luis Rivera popped in. And they will be squaring off for the IBA Light Heavyweight Championship, currently held by Rocky Gannon, who is 28 and 6 out of Dayton, Ohio. These two fought earlier with Gannon getting a win. Should be a good rematch. Both men feel like they've uh, improved since that fight, and we'll find out who's improved more. And final round. Twelfth and final round, and well, I like the okay. advice from the Juarez corner. Hey, I don't want you to box. I want you to brawl now for three minutes. That's your only shot. But he just ran in to try and do that, and, and Clarence Adams whacked him with three good punches. But it is true. He's going to have to throw caution to the wind to try to get a knockout against Adams. Nothing short of that will get him this fight. Even a knockdown, I can't imagine that would be enough. You see the.